We did some tests and made this video to answer the question of how a hot air balloon handles wind gusts. We know that a hot air balloon travels at the speed of the wind uh, in a steady wind, but in a wind gust, would it lag behind the gust or would it track or, in fact, uh, even possibly lead the gust? We decided the best way to create a controlled wind and controlled gusts was to use my car. By keeping the windows closed and accelerating and decelerating, we could move a parcel of air uh, to create a very controlled uh, situation. The first part of the experiment was aimed at determining whether we could use the frame of the car as the reference for the wind gust itself. To do this, we marked the air with uh, smoke using a match. We know that if the uh, smoke is lighter than air, it's going to move forward relative to the frame when the car is accelerating forward. Uh, when the smoke is at the same uh, buoyancy as the air, it shouldn't do either. Uh, it shouldn't either lead nor lag the gust. It should stay stationary in the car. So that's our first order of business. You should probably just get a different one. All right. Accelerating. Decelerating. Accelerating, hard, decelerating. Okay. You ready? Yep. Accelerating, decelerating. Accelerating, hard, decelerating, hard, accelerating, decelerating. Having determined that the frame was a good reference for the wind and gust, we went ahead and got a helium balloon and we made it neutrally buoyant. We weighted the bottom of the balloon so that rather than it being uh, uniformly dense, uh, we could see the acceleration on the balloon because the, the top would go uh, in the direction of acceleration and the bottom would go against. Okay. Okay. Ready? Yep, let it go. It's almost like there's something blowing on it, but... We gotta do it on the phone. Oh Don't we? After the wife had all the science that she could tolerate, I decided to let her off the hook. And instead I decided to try lateral acceleration by driving in circles uh, with the balloon. A couple of interesting things to notice during this test. Um, if you look at the angle of the keys dangling in my ignition and the angle of the balloon, you can get a sense of the lateral acceleration that it's undergoing. Uh, the other thing uh, it's worth mentioning is it's extremely hard to get this balloon, or I guess any balloon, to stay neutrally buoyant. Every few minutes we were having to change, we have some tape uh, and a wash on the bottom of it. We actually had to remove little bitty pieces of tape every few minutes to keep it right in the realm of neutral buoyancy. In the end, my conclusion was that uh, a neutrally buoyant balloon actually tracks, not only tracks the wind very well, but tracks wind changes, wind gusts very well. 
Another conclusion is that uh, it's pretty hard to, uh, to do a respectable experiment, uh, pretty hard to, uh, to drive and film and do it at the same time. So I, uh, I invite people to draw their own conclusions and certainly to do their own experiments.